ladies. Uh, I wanted to do a live just to talk a little bit more about some strategies that you can use uh, during COVID-19 to deal with difficult emotions. Um, so I know uh, when uh, COVID first started to happen, uh, at least in North America, we had a wave of intense anxiety happen. You know, I felt that collective energy. And I think now we're kind of moving into this understanding that it's going to be a longer term thing because it was initially presented as short term. And now there's kind of an indefinite time frame around this. And so where people had maybe said, for this block of time, I need to deal with it. Now what's happening is that... Um, you're, you're coming or a lot of people are coming to terms with the fact that this could be longer term and there's a lot of emotion coming up around that. Um, so Jody from Healing Journey, uh, www.healingjourneyservices.com. And so I work with um, women primarily. I also work with men privately um, to help you address anxiety holistically and um, to get to the root causes of those issues. So I use lots of functional lab testing and lifestyle approaches. And I also work with gut issues as well. Okay, so, you know, one of the main things that has come up for a lot of people um, around this whole thing is the lack of control. I know it's um, been definitely a trigger for me. Just um, the control is kind of taken away from us and there's not really anyone in particular that we can, you know, blame for taking that control away. We can't blame the boss. We can't blame parents. We can't blame the government necessarily because um, there's no one person you can pinpoint for this. And what that means is that um, there's nowhere to put that energy and there's not really a lot of room to maneuver around strategies that are going to allow you to get that control back because oftentimes, you know, uh, as human beings, we can be very creative in trying to um, maintain or obtain that control. And so this is where it can be really uh, difficult for a lot of people is trying to get that control um, back. And so one of the things I'm going to share a quote from a Holocaust survivor actually, is when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. And so I think this is what a lot of people are coming into now is that we need to um, go inwards and uh, figure out how we as individuals can better cope with the situation. And so one of the things I wanted to start with is the importance of validating yourself and your emotions. So if you um, aren't validating your emotions, if you're afraid to feel the grief that's out there, if you're afraid to feel the fear, if you're afraid to feel the sadness, if you're afraid to feel whatever emotion is coming up for you, then what actually happens is that emotion gets bigger. Um, and I see this a lot in my private practice. Um, people aren't validating themselves. They feel like there's no right for them to feel that way. And it's kind of like this opposite thing happens where the more you try and push that emotion down, the bigger that emotion is actually going to get. And so this is where it's really, really important to validate yourself and your feelings. And by validating these feelings, you're going to allow yourself to begin the process of moving through the feelings. So allowing yourself to feel the fear, allowing yourself to feel the grief and knowing that this is an unprecedented time and it's okay to feel that. So maybe for you, this looks like meditating and going inwards and being curious, you know, what's coming up for me emotionally. Uh, maybe it's grief and you're allowing yourself to grieve the loss of freedom that you used to have, the loss of connection um, that you have, the loss of job security, the loss of stability. All of these things are okay for you to be grieving. Um, and what's interesting is in Chinese medicine, grief is held in the lungs. And now we're dealing with COVID, which is a very lung-based virus. And so you want to make sure that your lungs are really healthy. So one of the things you can do is when you're dealing with grief is just allow yourself to really focus on the breath and focus on breathing deeply into the lungs, focusing on slowing breath. One of the things I like to do is um, I like to recommend straw breathing. So if you're trying to slow your breath down, breathing really slowly through a straw is going to relax your entire system. So just knowing that it's okay um, to be grieving all of these things right now. 
The second thing that's really come up is fear. Um, and of course, there's a lot of fear out there, fear of the unknown, fear of the disease, um, fear of um, a lot of other things. And so um, fear is going to trigger a physiological response within us. It's going to put us into the state of fight or flight. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a, a future uh, live. But with the fight or flight, um, you know, it's not going to be healthy for our body. That's not going to be healthy for our immune system. And so we really want to be able to move through the fear without necessarily staying in a state of fear. So something you can ask yourself um, when you're going through that fear is what am I actually afraid of, right? What is it about this whole situation that's creating this fear? Is it fear of unknown? Is it fear of death? Is it fear of lack of control? Is it fear this is going to happen forever? And being really curious about how you're experiencing fear in your body. Um, so kidneys actually is one of the places, according to Chinese medicine, you can feel fear. And I know when this whole thing started, my kidneys were bananas. So I felt fear there. Um, so really working on supporting your kidneys, making sure you're getting a lot of water. If you want to take supportive herbs for your kidneys, that would be a good thing to do as well. Um, but allowing yourself to feel that fear and then not, you know, sinking into that fear, but really allowing yourself to move through that fear. So what skills do you have? What things can you control right now that are going to allow you to make it through that worst case scenario that you're afraid of? Because I guarantee you that you have some strengths that you can pull on if your worst case scenario exists and allow will allow you to move through that fear. But the only way that you're going to get to problem solving that worst case scenario is if you let yourself feel the fear and then allow yourself to move through it. And if you allow yourself to move through the fear or the grief, I guarantee you that you will move through it and that emotional intensity is going to come down. So really, really important um, at this time that you're feeling some self-compassion for yourself. You're not minimizing your emotions and that you're allowing yourself to feel it, knowing that it's okay that you're feeling these things. Yes, they're not ideal emotions. Um, nobody really wants to spend a lot of time in fear or in anger or in sadness, but it's okay that you're feeling this and you will move through that. Um, so thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, you can post below and I'd love to hear from you, you know, how you've been experiencing, um, this whole COVID-19 is fear really big for you. Is it grief or maybe it's anger? I know I've experienced the whole gamut of that. And for me, I move through it when I walk through nature. I find that that's a great place for me to process that. And I've also been doing a lot of grounding meditations where I go to my safe place um, that is real for me. Um, and I will ground myself and my senses in that place and feel the calming energy of that place. So those are some tips that have helped me. Stay safe and stay healthy.